that they can cry it out, scream it out, whatever they need to release. Maybe they need to take a pillow and punch into the pillow. Maybe they need to yell. So um, be there for them. Uh, you can also um, be there for them in a way of like, just from your own heart, sending just love and kindness and holding space for your partner. You can just do it. Over the heart. And if your partner's okay with it, you can also place your hand on the heart while you're encouraging them. And if my partner feels like right now, I don't want to be touched, I need to it's also okay, like, ask for this, if you want a distance, you know, be like, thank you, but right now I need to be alone. So, whatever you need, take care of yourself and, and encourage the process. Um, when we do Tantra here, it, even though it's maybe very active um, exercises, like standing or walking around or even dancing, it's still a meditation. Not meditation is not just sitting like this. So things that takes us out of meditation, for example, are um, when we activate our language processing part of our brain, like talking. That that takes myself out, you, and maybe even people around you. So if uh, try to resist the urge, if for example an exercise was super beautiful, and you want to like, how was it for you, or like. Um, and I want to tell you something that just happened inside of me. Try to like not do it right away. There will be space at the end for a hot shrink, but in the moment, stay in the process by, for example, just like putting your hands on your heart and just like, wow, deepen this memory inside of you. Or um, go with your partner in the eye gazing and just stand with them and wait for further instructions. We will guide you when, when there's something new to do. Um, so that way you, you encourage that process also as well. Um, sometimes though, it is important to communicate. And that is when it comes to our boundaries. Um, our boundaries can be crossed in many different ways. It could be intimacy or sexually, but it could be also maybe, um, I'm not aware that let's say, I'm stepping on her toe, on her hair, can be many different ways. So for that, we have here the Tantra Movement School a sign language, where we try to communicate without words. So you can now maybe place your hand on your partner, maybe you two can also do it. And you just like place your hand on each other, yeah? And you do like a piano sign on, on your partner, yeah? So that piano sign is easy to distinguish, yeah? And that means like, hey, slow down, um, this is maybe going too much, it's still okay, but like don't go further, okay? And if you do it really strong, um, that would mean that uh, like stop, like this is too much, and maybe from that moment, like if you do a example massage, just disconnect for a moment, okay? Just like give them some space. Um, sometimes we cannot touch a person because maybe they're behind us or at our feet or we're talking, so it's not even crossing the boundaries to touch, maybe just verbally. Um, you can also do it like by raising your hand like that. So that means, hey, slow down. So let's all do it together. That means um, slow down, like uh, don't go further. And when you raise your hand all the way up, that means like stop right now. Like I, I need a break, okay? There's also the other polarity of that. So for example, sometimes you want to communicate to your partner that you enjoy something. So you can place again your hand on your partner and you stroke side to side. Yeah, you can do it like that. So that's like, mm, yeah, enjoy, I like. And uh, when you do it stronger and with her parents, like, yeah, I love this, and go for it. Okay. And same thing, we can do it like uh, with our hands. So when we wave, it's like, mm, I enjoy, I like. And we do it with curved fingers, it's like, yeah. I love this. So, in this massage, that can be very helpful to stay synchronized, to know do my partner actually enjoy it or actually not at all. Because sometimes we imagine one thing, but the reality is totally different. So, use the signs as much as possible throughout the whole retreat and any kind of exercise and even at home as well. Um, when we, we often say um, talk less, experience more, that will guide you. Uh, 
that into a deeper journey. Um, here between us, we can communicate all of us. We create this bubble, this space of safety, of vulnerability, so we can share even the most intimate and vulnerable things with one another. But please don't share things um, outside of our bubble with anyone else without the consent of the person you're talking about. You can ask for permission, but do that first before you maybe go on the beach with an hour in a tantra workshop and uh, Lucas was crying like a baby or something like that, you know? So here we respect privacy so we can um, emphasize on, on vulnerability, yeah? Um, when we go into this process, it's very important that we can surrender, that we can feel comfortable. So if for any reason, um, let's say right now, let's say you're listening to me doing guidelines, but you actually cannot concentrate what I'm saying because you need to pee, you know, just um, stand up, go to the toilet, or maybe you are thirsty, whatever takes away your concentration or distracts you, take care of that in the moment. Don't wait until there's a pause because we will not make pee breaks. The pee breaks is when your nature is calling you, yeah? Or any, anything else the same. Um, here, in the Movement School, we encourage couples to go deep, so we help couples to stay in the process and we don't interfere with them. So you're, as a couple, uh, doing good, and with you, we would hopefully find somebody that can also turn up with you. Maybe for a day, we would do very gentle exercises that you can then maybe learn and integrate mm -hmm. with your partner and bring it maybe to Hawaii. So maybe every day we will have a little lunch break or we mostly try to eat fruits. There will be some cooked fruits as well, but we're trying to stay light so we can be um, receptive to the energies. So do you have any questions about any of these guidelines? No, I think I'm good. Beautiful. Um, so if you all agree with these guidelines, I would love to hear one if you just said yes. Do you agree? Yes. 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 Amazing. Thank you so much. So